Well, good morning to you. I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. I want to let you know that every month, 500 kids here in Arizona are pulled away from everything they know, and they are placed into foster care. And we're hoping that you can help us again. This is the seventh year we've done this because we know these transitions are emotional. We hope that together we can help to make these kids feel a little more secure when they do land with a foster family, a family like the Gallows. They're being so good. These babies are being so good. Caroline and Hank Gallo love kids. You know, I would do it forever, but as long as I could, I should say. I know. Raising four biological children of their own. From 35 all the way down to 16. Then fostering a total of 23 kids so far in six years. And they're all footprints on the door. You can see them when you go up. <laughs> Each footprint on this bedroom door honors the life of a child placed here until a judge decides if it's safe to go back to mom and dad. One will go home in the morning, we'll have one by the end of the day, which is sad in to say, today's society to have that many that need a home. Fostering isn't something the gallows set out to do. That sort of just happened. A friend of mine that I knew that ha was having a baby and she was in a bad way, so we were going to take her in, and then it ended up that DCS placed her with her biological brother, who was adopted, so they took her in and they adopted her. And then when I was had a meeting with DCS, like, do you ever think you want to foster? And I'm like, I don't know. And then we just it went from there. They mostly foster babies. See a smile. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> yes, you my little fluffy. Some for a few weeks. Even then, they come, you know, exposed to drugs and stuff. There, people are like, how do you deal with that? I'm like, they're really easy. Mine hasn't slept in like three months. I'm like, you know, you done and others for a lifetime, adopting Xavion in 2019. When we brought him home, just remember he was like, looked like this little, I mean, he wasn't supposed to be born because he was born at 34 weeks. He'll be five next week, diagnosed with ADHD. On the autism spectrum, doctors said Xavion was nonverbal. I'm gonna take my shoes off. That's cool. Did you have a good day at school? Yes. But time spent at a developmental preschool years of speech therapy and quality family time is this the camera it is offer living proof of what love can do for a child and then of course you know when mom had another one we're like well we'll just take take him too given little chance of survival born at just 24 weeks and told he would have a lifetime of medical issues the gallows adopted marcus two and a half years later this toddler is thriving. I don't want to know you, Kelly. Two biological brothers growing up together. The gallows wouldn't have it any other way. I would keep them all. That's a bad thing. I mean, it's a good thing, but it's a bad thing. I can't keep them all. But it would sure be nice, wouldn't it? It would. I mean, I would need a bigger house. <laughs> we were hoping she'd win the lottery last night. But you know what? She chance. got a big heart to she fit does. all of them into her life, and uh, that was just incredible to see. Does she keep in touch with them? Any uh, any of the ones that have gone on? All of the well, all of the kids who have gone on, she has um, kept in touch with, and the families too. She says she doesn't want to get in the way. Yeah. She understands that this is really difficult. I mean, these are real issues. But moms and dads who reach out when they can, right? Yeah. She definitely gives them updates about these kids. You know, I'm from a foster family. I was lucky to have parents who took kids in, yes. right? And it can teach so much to the kids right. who are at home mm -hmm. and the kids who do come in. So the Gallo family, they're a prime example of why ABC 15 has teamed up with Arizona's Children Association. This is the seventh year we've done this to help ease the transition to foster care we can all get involved donations for these just for me bags they are being collected right now at American Furniture Warehouse they've got a new location it's the one in North Central Phoenix and they've also got a location in Gilbert and Glendale but they need baby wipes personal care items also a journal again anything that's sort of a comfort item to help these kids so again drop it off American Furniture Warehouse or donate online at abc15.com slash kids.